Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, I'm recording this about a week in advance, so there's still a couple videos to post at time of recording, but by the time you guys see this, uh, we will have wrapped up Chance of Sinar. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun doing it, and it's a, it was a very neat take on a language puzzle game. I, uh, I definitely enjoyed it more than Heaven's Vault, which I think has too much plot in it. And honestly, I think the, the one big language isn't as interesting as translating between several smaller ones. But we're not here to talk about Heaven's Vault. That was, that's another very interesting game that maybe we'll tackle sometime down the line, but eh, probably not. This is, you know, it's the end of the month, we're, we're here to do a channel update, and uh, the obvious question is, what's going to be next after Chance of Sinar? And the answer in, like, the immediate short term is not a damn thing until I finish Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You gotta have your priorities, you know? But after that, there's, uh, two ideas that are being kicked around right now regarding what we're gonna do after all of this. Uh, the first is that, uh, you may know, uh, Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown came out earlier this year. It is very good, and I have heard a, uh, a whisper on the wind that there is some interest in getting the gang back together. So, I should be clear, I don't want to promise this because it, that's a lot of people's schedules to juggle together. I don't even know if necessarily I would be the one doing it, but I know me, Crow, and Fadul have all had conversations about it, so it's not outside the realm of possibility. The other major thing that we're talking about is we are considering exploiting the loophole in our No More Final Fantasies Ever rule to maybe take a look at Lost Odyssey here. Now, I have not played most of the game. I think I've... I, I never had a 360 or anything, so I've played, like, the first disc of it on my Series S. And that's, that's about the extent of it. So, I would be going into it largely blind. In the past, that has not been a huge deal, but the last time we did it was Batankaitis Origins, and that's a game that is very similar to the first, you know, with that being very similar to Batankaitis 1, I kind of already knew what I was in for. This is a very different system, and, like, I've, I've enjoyed what I've played of it so far, to be clear, but I would hate to get, like, halfway through the game and then be like, wow, I hate this. Uh, we're throwing this series directly in the trash. So there's that, right? Like, it's not that it's something that I wouldn't want to do. It's just, I, you know, I, I'm very cautious about starting something and then, you know, having to turn around and be like, Haha, just kidding. I think if I had to guess, I would say it is the more likely of the two options that are currently on the table, but that's less because of the game itself and more just because it's very easy for me to just record that on my own time and then, you know, wrangle one person than it is to get the entire Prince of Persia gang together for what is, honestly, The Lost Crown is pretty long as far as Metroidvanias go. It's not like Hollow Knight or anything, but it's a, it's a solid 20 hours or so. Anyway, I also want to briefly talk about uh, streams while we're here. Hope everybody's been enjoying those. They're usually a fun time. I actually really liked that that Jubilee stream we did a couple weeks ago. That was that was a game that I had absolutely no I didn't know anything about, and it turned out to be a good time. So I'm glad we were able to find stuff like that. I would obviously like to do more stuff like that, but games are expensive, and I don't exactly have the budget to be picking stuff up constantly. So, uh, one of the things I had thought about, but I'm always terrified to actually, like, make actionable in any way, is I had thought about doing something like 
opening up memberships and then using that as sort of like a, oh, okay, well, you know, as, as long as I'm directly getting something back for this, I'm more willing to try stuff out. And to be clear, I wouldn't lock anything major behind it, right? Like, you would not get a notification that, oh, we're doing a members-only DK stream tonight. Well, okay, you might, but if you did, it would be like DK64, because that is that is very much just, fuck you, pay me. But yeah, I, I'm really bad at asking for money, so... Like, I think about it, and then I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to rock the boat on anything that's going on right now, so just kind of whatever. Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is, if that's something that you would be interested in, and, and like, to be clear, I'm not promising that, like, we're going to do fucking DK64 on a membership stream or anything, but if that is something that generally you would be interested in, um, let me know, because... You know, I don't, I also don't want to put in the work of getting everything kind of set up and then have it turn around and be like, guess what? Nobody wants it. You've wasted your time. Anyway, that's all that I really have for today. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out on the stream. Uh, I do have a lot of fun doing this, uh, but I've also kind of exhausted is the wrong word, but I've played a lot of the games that I knew that I wanted to play, so we're kind of in the discovery era of the channel, if you will. And hopefully we'll see you soon with something new!